In this video, we are adding a sword animation to our slash beam attack. And we are starting right now. To get started, open up Roblox Studio and click on this plugins tab. Then click on build rig and select block rig. Okay, that gives us a dummy to animate. Before we start though, I'm going to add a sword inside the dummy so that we can see where the sword is during the animation. In the toolbox, search for sword and click on classic sword. When prompted to add this to the starter pack, just choose no. Instead, we want to move this sword inside the dummy. To do that, just drag it there like this. Okay, we can now start with our animation. Click on animation editor like this. Now, it is asking you to select a rig to animate. Click on the dummy to select it. Then give your animation a name. In this animation, we are going to use the following parts. Right upper arm, right lower arm, upper torso, lower torso and head. Click this plus sign here, to add these to your animation timeline. Okay, we just need to select the part we wish to animate. Then under the model tab, check the rotate setting. And type in a number for the degrees to rotate it. Now move it like this. To animate another part, move forward in the timeline like this. And select the part. Animate the other parts by selecting each one and moving them a bit. In this animation, we are trying to move the sword and arm back. And then swing back through. Make sure you are selecting a different point in the timeline. Watch how I do it. Okay, great. That's our animation done. It's not the greatest but it will do for this demo. Next, we need to save this and script it so our character uses it. Click the three dots here to save. To use the animation, we first need to export it. This will give us an animation ID, which we can use in our script. That number is our animation ID, we should save that somewhere to use later. If we play the game now, the animation doesn't work on our character yet, because we haven't added anything to our script yet. To get this to work, we have just a few lines of code to add to our script. Using the attack script we created previously. We can easily add the animation to the code there and it will work. Okay, that's the code for the animation added. Let's give it a run and see if it works. It kind of worked. It doesn't seem like our upper arm is moving at all though. Okay, let's see what we did wrong and fix it. When we look at our animation, we definitely had our arm higher in the air. First, we did forget one important step, and that's to set the priority to action. Next, the first frame of our animation started with the dummy's arm in the air, when actually it needed to be level. So let's change that now. Select the right upper arm and then rotate it back down like this. When making further changes to the animation, it needs to be saved again. From the three dot drop down, choose export and overwrite the existing file.
Okay, now it should work. Let's give it a run and see how we did. There we go. That first time it loaded a bit slow, but now you can see it's working nicely. The player is swinging the axe, at the same time when the beam is starting to fly out. Okay, let's quickly fix the loading problem. Just move this line up a bit. Yes, I think that's much better. Okay, that is the end of this tutorial. We were successfully able to add a new animation and make it play when our character pressed a key to attack. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.